Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to our channel. In this video, we'll be discussing the real exam questions of GCP Digital Leader. This is the part one of the series. Before we go on to the questions, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications whenever we upload a video. Starting with question one. So if you need to pause the video, please do so and read the question first. The question is, your organization needs to analyze data in order to gather insights into its daily operations. You only want to pay for the data you store and the queries you perform. Which Google Cloud product should your organization choose for its data analytics warehouse? So before going on to the options, we'll be underlining some keywords. First, we see that the organization needs to analyze data in order to gather insights into its daily operations. So it needs to gather insights into its daily operations. You only want to pay for the data you store. So we, as the user, we only want to pay for the data we store and the queries that we perform. Which Google Cloud product should your organization choose for its data analytics warehouse? The options are a Google, Google options are a Cloud SQL, b Data Proc, c Cloud Spanner, and d BigQuery. To make answering the questions a bit easier, our team at Cloud Guru has devised a table with the purposes of the services given. Please go through the table once. So Cloud SQL, as you can see, is a relational database. It's an ODS. And it aligns with the first keywords that we underlined, gathers insights into its daily operations. So Cloud SQL is, for now is our potential answer, but we'll still be looking into the other options. Now the second option, data proc. So Spark and Hadoop services are related to data proc. And as we know, they're related to big data. But if we go back to the question once, we see there's no mention of big data anywhere in the question. So uh, data proc will not be one of our answers. We'll be nulling this out as one of the answers. Moving on to the third option, Cloud Spanner is a scalable transactional database. It is an OLTP and it is a backend database for web applications such as Amazon.com and Flipkart.com. BigQuery, it is a data warehouse for BI and ML. In the question, as you can see, we have said that uh, the organization needs to analyze uh, data in order to gather insights into its daily operations. However, BigQuery doesn't store detail level records, so it will not be one of the options. Another point to add is that uh, BigQuery is very expensive. So keeping this in mind, whenever you are answering questions during the exam, you should always choose the option which is cost effective. So as we discussed, the answer to the question is Cloud SQL. Moving on to question two. Read the question carefully and pause the video if you need to do so. So this entire question is based on migration of data to the Google Cloud. Uh, so the keywords here are migrating to Google Cloud, data from on-premises file servers, to cloud storage and an existing dedicated internet connection or dedicated internet co interconnect connection. So from the given question, and this is this is the on-prem and this is the cloud. And we need to migrate the data to cloud. And this from this point to this point there's already an existing internet connection. So as always, our team here at Cloud Guru is trying to make the job easier for you. So here again, we have devised a table which uh, states the purposes of the services. So the first option, which is storage transfer service. The purpose of storage transfer service is that it transfers data over online network or through the internet. 
In the question, it's clearly stated that there is an existing dedicated internet connection. So for now, uh, storage transfer service looks to be our potential option. So the second option, Anthos, is related to Kubernetes. In the question, we can clearly see there is no mentioning of Kubernetes or microservices anywhere. So Anthos is not one of the potential answers. So the third option is BigQuery data transfer service. It's related to data migration. But here in the question, we can see that we need to migrate file servers. It's not related to database migration. So this is not one of the answers. So our fourth and last option, transfer appliance. Uh, it's a snowballing device. However, here in the question, it is clearly stated that there is an existing internet connection. Hence, there is no need for a snowballing device. So this is also not one of our potential answers. So as discussed, storage transfer service is the answer. Let's move on to question three. Please read the question and pause the video if you need to do so. As always, we'll be highlighting the keywords. Here are the key phrases that the virtual machines are not allowed to access the public internet. So we'll be highlighting that. Here's a diagram based on the question. You can see two virtual machines, the BigQuery database and the cloud storage. And the virtual machines have to access the BigQuery database and cloud storage without using the internet, hence the big cross. So let's go through the options first. Option A is identity aware proxy. It's a gateway for web access, but in the question it's clearly mentioned that the web virtual machines are not allowed to access the public internet. So this is clearly not one of the options. Let's jump on to question uh, option C. Option C is VPC internal load balancers, which are load balancers. Basically what a load balancer does, uh, supposing this is a load balancer, this is the user. The load balancers help, the load balancer helps to balance the load between the virtual machines. However, there's no mention of load balancing anywhere in the question. Option D is private Google access. Uh, so ideally, that would be our answer. However, it does not support virtual machines, so it is not one of the answers. So since A, C, and D are all canceled out, our answer is Cloud NAT. Again, to make answering the questions a bit easier, our team at Cloud Guru has uh, summarized Cloud NAT uh, functions right here. Please go through the points. In short, Cloud NAT works great with virtual machine. Uh, here you can see the diagram which we drew earlier. Uh, so in this diagram, here are the two virtual machines with the NAT proxy and the destinations, which according to our question were the BigQuery and the cloud storage. So our answer is cloud NAT. Please keep in mind whenever you get questions related to uh, related to this type of question, uh, the answer is probably related to cloud netting. Moving on to question four. Please read the question carefully. The question states, your organization needs to categorize objects in a large group of static images using machine learning. Which Google Cloud product or service should your organization use? As always, we'll be highlighting the keywords. So here it states a large group of static images. So it's de dealing with static images using machine learning. So let's go through the options. Option A is BigQuery ML, which is basically machine learning, which deals with BigQuery databases. However, this is not one of the answers as uh, the question does not deal with BigQuery databases. Option B is AutoML Video Intelligence. 
which deals with videos and not static images, so it is not the answer. Option C is Cloud Vision API. Uh, it deals with static images and is basically a computer vision for static images. So as for now, it looks like Cloud Vision API is one of the potential answers. Let's look on to option D, which is AutoML tables. Uh, well, the question clearly does not deal with tables, so that is not the answer. So as mentioned before, option C, which is Cloud Vision API, is the answer. Moving on to question five. So question five states, your organization needs to build streaming data pipelines. You don't want to manage the individual servers that do the data processing in the pipelines. Instead, you want to manage servers that will automatically scale with the amount of data to be processed. Which Google Cloud product or feature should your organization use? Like always, we'll be highlighting the keywords. So the keywords are data pipelines, and manage service. Let's take a look at the options. Option A is PubSub, B is Data Flow, C is Data Catalog, and D is Data Prep by Trifacta. Before hopping on to any of the other options, let's look at option D. Uh, it's clearly not a cloud product, so it is not the answer. Now let's look on to option B and option A, just pops up and it's used for messaging between apps. However, that's not what the question calls for, so that is not the answer. Option C, which is data catalog, is used for data governance. However, that's also not the answer as that's not what the question calls for. We're left with B, data flow, which should be the answer. Data flow is basically a data processing service and that is exactly what the question needs. So that is the answer. So for question five, Option B, data flow, is the answer. All right, guys, so this brings us to the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive daily notifications. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and comment down below. This is the end of part one of GCP Digital Leader Real Exam Questions. As always, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.